Roller coasters were designed to provide a sense of thrill to our lives, all while having a good, safe, enjoyable experience. By the end of this video, I promise you that you're going to have a different opinion on roller coasters. You will also become a little more brave when it comes to facing your fears and riding a coaster. Roller coasters are a huge piece of my life, and I've been riding them since I was three, which was 35 years ago. And now, I get to take my three-year-old on them with me. With everything you're going to learn today, when you ride a roller coaster, you will enjoy it more than you would have if you didn't watch this video. To start, you have to ask yourself, what are you scared of the most? Is it the height? The speed? What about, is the coaster safe or not? Or, do you not want to go upside down? Let's first talk about the height. The fear of heights is called acrophobia, and every coaster has to feature some height to it. And while the smallest coaster in the world just stands a few feet off the ground, the tallest one is 456 feet tall. My name is Brandon, and welcome to my channel, Theme Park Recommendations. And my biggest recommendation when it comes to overcoming the fear of heights is don't look down. Okay, on a serious note, my recommendation is this. Start small and work your way up. And you might want to consider not looking down. When you're at the park, ride the smallest coaster first, and then keep riding the one that's a little bit bigger and so forth until you start to feel uncomfortable. If you still get nervous regarding the height, then I recommend you focusing on something in front of you for the entire ride. And this will help you lose focus on what you're actually nervous about. Do you suffer from claustrophobia, the fear of confined places? If so, once the roller coaster leaves the station, your restraint or area around you will not become more confined, if that's a little more reassuring for you. If anything, you should feel less claustrophobic due to being outside and not in the roller coaster station. Another thing to know, some coasters offer better restraints than others. For example, a lap bar is going to give you a much more free feeling than an overhead shoulder harness would. And remember that roller coasters are meant to be a little bit scary. Each and every one of you has stress in your life, including myself. And while riding a roller coaster will not eliminate the stress, it will help reduce it and replace some of that stress with adrenaline. Did you know that the average roller coaster lasts around 40 seconds? That's it. So while you're in line, just look at your watch or timer and know that after 40 seconds, the ride's most likely going to be over. And the time it took you to watch this whole video, you could have ridden a dozen different coasters. Are you scared to go upside down? Some roller coasters will flip you upside down in so many different directions, and while that might seem kind of frightening, just remember that the restraints are designed to keep you safe and in the train. Where should you sit on a roller coaster? For beginners, I always recommend you sit near the middle of the train. By doing this, it's going to offer you the most tame riding experience because believe it or not, but the front and the back cars of a roller coaster actually offer a much different riding experience. And I'm guessing that you probably have seen a clickbait video on YouTube about roller coaster accidents and how they're not safe. And while I can't deny that there have been a few accidents on coasters, you have to look at the actual facts regarding them. More times than not, when there's a roller coaster coaster accident, it's on a coaster that was built and manufactured by some knockoff company. It's kind of like buying brakes for your car. Do you want to purchase the cheapest brakes from an unknown brand or do you want the more trusted brakes that cost a little bit more? While every roller coaster accident is a horrible story, a lot of them can be preventable. With that said, be sure to read the safety guidelines located at the entrance of the attraction. Also, never, and I mean never, cross the train in front or behind it or between each car when you're loading and unloading from the ride. Be sure to travel through the seat. And promise me this, that you'll never enter a restricted area. If you unfortunately lost something on the ride, go to one of the ride operators and they will be able to help you. Your life is way more important than hopping that fence and grabbing your cell phone, hat, or your keys. This is why I highly recommend placing all your valuables in either zipper pockets or a locker, or better yet, leave them with a non-rider. While riding your first roller coaster, you might be thinking you'll be better off if you just close your eyes. But that always doesn't work. 
and can really make you start to feel nauseous very quickly. If you do decide to close your eyes, then just do so if you can during the first drop or the launch. Like I said earlier, be sure to look straight ahead. Don't look off to the side or down because this will most likely make you get sick. If you are extremely nervous and your anxiety starts to kick in, then try doing a special breathing technique. For example, take long, slow breaths and just remember that you watched this video featuring these useful tips. Together, this will make your experience so much more enjoyable. I highly recommend when you ride your first roller coaster, you need to scream. Go ahead and try it because it really does help. And most importantly, know that you're not alone here. And there are millions of people who are just like you and scared of roller coasters as much as you are. And that is totally okay. And also know that a huge way to overcome your fear of roller coasters would be to understand how they work. Just like most things, it's always best to find the root of your fear. Understanding the specific things you're scared of can only help you find the best way to tackle them and overcome your fears. Ask yourself, why am I so scared of roller coasters? Figure out what about a roller coaster that makes you worry the most. Once you've identified the specifics of your fear, then you can start to reduce the fear even more before you get within 10 feet of a theme park. If your fears are focused around the idea of roller coaster safety, like the structure might fall down or the restraints might pop open mid-ride, then I would suggest doing some research into the many safety measures that are in place to protect riders. Let me ask you this. Do you remember the first time that you rode a bicycle? I take it you're probably a little bit nervous, but after you tried it, you most likely enjoyed it and wanted to do it again. The same goes with roller coasters. Now there are a certain type of people who like to just dive in and go big. And that's totally fine. Go ride the largest roller coaster at your local park first. But just don't ride this coaster or that one and definitely not this one. But warning, there are two negatives that come with this approach. Number one, every coaster after this is not going to feel as exciting to you. And number two, if you don't enjoy your ride on the largest roller coaster in the park, then this could negatively impact you riding another coaster. The internet is a beautiful thing, so if you know some info about the park you're visiting and the coaster that you want to ride first, go watch the POV of that ride, which is a point of view of it. Doing this is really going to help you familiarize the coaster's layout and gives you a better idea of what to expect. You should also look for reviews of that coaster on YouTube to hear what other people are saying about it. Gather a nice support circle when you're visiting the park. While sadly, I can't be there with you to help motivate you to ride a roller coaster, I highly encourage you to surround yourself with people that'll help you throughout your day at your local amusement park. Roller coasters are very therapeutic. They help you cope with a lot of different things. And after riding almost 400 different roller coasters in my lifetime, I will never stop riding them. And most importantly, I will never stop helping people like you get over their fear of riding roller coasters. What are you most nervous about when it comes to riding a roller coaster? And how old were you when you rode your first coaster? Be sure to let me know your answers in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.